the split of Chicago Bears Nation on keeping Justin Fields and using the top picks to get other position players versus drafting top talent at the quarterback position is insane. So I voiced my case already on that. I would keep Justin Fields for another year and build the team around him because I'll be frank with you guys. I feel every single year there's always generational type talent at the quarterback position that we have to take. And honestly, if Fields isn't the guy, we build the rest of the team now, so then we go out and get a quarterback next year and plug and play him. It's going to be the same conversation is what I'm saying. But I'm going to break down today the two biggest names in college football right now who could be potentially QB1 for the Chicago Bears in 2024. Caleb Williams from USC and Drake May from UNC. Both are very talented. No denial about that. And if Ryan Poles goes after a quarterback in this upcoming draft, both these guys are going to be high on his list. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of just another year chicago my name is nick Rody, and as always thank you for tuning in anything can happen over the next 10 weeks in the nfl including what we're potentially going to see out of justin fields when he returns but if it doesn't work with fields these two guys are both options for ryan poles if you think that the chicago bears are in a good position no matter what poles does over the next couple of months here with the offseason of either sticking with justin fields or drafting a quarterback make sure to smash that like button and also put your thoughts in the comment section below about what you would do with the quarterback situation. So let's start with Caleb Williams. Currently attending USC, the 6'1", 215-pound quarterback is an athlete. He is two inches shorter than Justin Fields. I'm not going to lie, that kind of scares me a little bit because small quarterbacks like Bryce Young aren't working out right now. But the former Heisman Trophy winner is the number one ranked quarterback at the moment, so I guess heart over height here. He is the first unanimous All-American quarterback to also win the Heisman that year. And our good friends over at NFLDraftBuzz.com agree he'd be a great snag for the Chicago Bears. A 95.5 overall grade according to them, with a release speed of 74 out of 100, short pass 85 out of 100, medium pass 87 out of 100, long pass 96 out of 100, and rush and scramble 87 out of 100. He also runs a 4.59 40 time, which is 0.15 seconds slower than Justin Fields. His stats this year are absolutely insane. Curly has a passer rating of 172.1 with a 67.9% completion percentage, along with 3,249 passing yards, 29 passing touchdowns, four interceptions, 90 rushes for 156 yards, and 11 rushing touchdowns. Do we call him a running back in that situation because he has a lot of rushing touchdowns, or do we call him a quarterback because he is an overall talented player and the running back comment needs to be thrown out the window? I was just throwing that in there for fun, but you guys get what I'm saying. He is a generational type talent player. Insane arm as we know, insanely accurate. I mean, look at his QBR, but also he can just do anything he wants with the football and he acts like a point guard with it faking guys out, making guys lose their feeding, and also throwing no-look passes, super impressive. He also puts guys on skates when he's going around the pocket trying to make time for himself. Overall, super fun to watch. The one struggle that I have with him is that in big game moments, he always seems to fold. And with his style of play, causes potential for a lot of big game turnovers. Caleb Williams is not my first choice. I'm just gonna put that out there. But if the Chicago Bears do go with him, they are getting a very talented baseball. Player. I'll be honest, Caleb Williams is not my first choice. But if they do go with him, they're getting one hell of a football player. So I said I was talking about two guys. And before I get into Drake May, I am going to thank today's sponsor, Freshy Organic Tequila Seltzer. 99 calories of lime, blood orange, habanero, or grapefruit grava. They make a great taste. And especially because they're a Chicago-born organic tequila seltzer. Awesome for when you're watching Bears games or wanting a taste of summer when it's cold outside. Go to the link in the description for the Freshy Finder to find Freshy near you. So now... Now let's go into Drake May, who's the guy that I prefer to be the quarterback for the Chicago Bears. Currently attending UNC, where the former Bears quarterback Mitchell Trubisky attended, the 6'4", 230-pound quarterback is one big dude. He's one inch taller than Justin Fields, and he's 
pretty darn talented as well. Our good friends over at NFLDraftBuzz.com gave him a 92.5 out of 100 overall grade. Release speed of 85 out of 100, short pass 85 out of 100, medium pass 96 out of 100, long pass 97 out of 100, and rush and scramble 76 out of 100. So overall, everything but his rush and scramble is better than Caleb Williams. He also runs a 4.640 time, 0.01 seconds slower than Williams, 0.16 seconds slower than Justin Fields. A passer rating of 157.4 with a 65.8 completion percentage with 3,145 passing yards, 21 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, and 93 rushes for 276 yards and 8 rushing touchdowns. That is insane that he is also, in my opinion, an overall better true to paper quarterback. That arm ability and that quick release is massive. You know, when people are talking about Tyson Bajan versus Fields, that's what they're looking for. That release, that accuracy in Drake May brings that. Williams is better with his legs, but May is super good with his legs as well. And that's not saying anything different. I think they're both fantastic when scrambling. He is mobile and quick and gets the job done. That insane strength of arm and accuracy when he's throwing down the field is also insane. Also, according to reports, he has some of the best vision in football and his football IQ is through the roof because he's playing with one of the worst offensive lines in college football. And what we're building with the offensive line right now with the Chicago Bears, you put Drake May in there, we're good to go because Drake May knows what it's like to play with a bad offensive line. Give him a good offensive line, which is what we're building in Chicago right now. It's gonna be out of this world. So I said it, I'll take Drake May. The drama I've heard with Caleb Williams, whether they're true or not, there's a lot of speculation around this guy and the rumor that apparently he wants ownership of a team. And also his dad is saying that he won't enter the draft depending on who is drafting him. I think it's ridiculous. Give me a guy that's going to go to the team that wants him, is going to help improve the team right away, and is willing to take on any challenge, and that's what Drake May is going to do. Hell of an athlete. I like what he does on and off the field as well, and that's why he's my pick. If we go with a quarterback. Put your thoughts in the comment section below. But with that, thank you very much for joining this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde, and as always, bear down.